I look forward to helping guide this great department and letting everyone see what I already know, that we have a great group of law enforcement professionals in the Baton Rouge Police Department. And we are one of the best in the country. Optimism from the man selected to lead the Baton Rouge Police Department starting in January. Today, Mayor Broom announced Thomas Morse Jr. will take over the department after the retirement of current chief Murphy Paul. Good evening, friends, and thanks for joining us. We start with team coverage on that announcement. I'm Elizabeth Vowell. You see Scotty Hunter and Elise Corville standing by. First, the soon-to-be chief is stepping into the role as an FBI investigation rages on, and the Baton Rouge Police Department struggles to regain trust with the public. And, of course, this comes as the mayor launches a bid for re-election, all while her administration tries to clean up a number of scandals brought to light in BRPD's prior administration. Our lead investigator, Scotty Hunter, starts us off tonight with a deep dive on the challenges ahead for the future chief Scotty. Well, as that ongoing FBI investigation is one of the biggest challenges the department will face as the new chief begins his tenure as the city's next top cop. But we also wanted to know if politics played a part in the mayor's decision. Well, you're absolutely right. Just uh, days before the new year, Mayor Sharon Weston Broom has her pick for the next BRPD chief, announcing Thomas Morse Jr. is the right choice to lead the agency. This individual embodies the progressive vision and unwavering commitment to our community's safety that we sought. His dedication to fostering collaboration, utilizing innovative strategies, and upholding the values of integrity and transparency align perfectly with the needs of our city. But we wanted to know if the choice also aligned with something else, the mayor's likely bid for re-election. Uh, mayor, it's safe to say you plan to run for re-election. Uh, how much did that weigh into your decision? And uh, do you think this will help or hurt your chances? I really think that the question is not applicable to what we're uh, talking about right now. That had nothing to do with uh, my decision. It was my responsibility as I governed this city to make that decision and I made that decision with great confidence. A 21 year veteran of the force, Thomas Morse Jr. most recently served as the commander of training services as well as a member of BRPD's SWAT team. Experiences he believes will guide him as he takes the helm of the agency. I want every citizen of Baton Rouge to have faith in the Baton Rouge Police Department and know that we are here to serve you. I intend to make myself very available to be able to discuss and tackle issues that are in front of the community. State your name, first and last name. Perhaps the most complex issue looming large over the department is the Brave Cave, a secretive warehouse where some members of the agency question certain suspects allegedly beating and performing illegal strip searches on some who were taken there. I'm about to back oh, the Stop. Turn your camera on. Back in August, the WAFBI team blew the lid off the alleged off the books practices, which rocked the department, leading to multiple arrests, including the arrest of a high ranking deputy chief, Troy Lawrence Sr., and causing the mayor to disband the street crimes unit. Our reporting also kicked off a number of internal and criminal investigations and even a federal probe by the FBI. When asked about specific qualities in her next chief to help him tackle those issues, here's what the mayor had to say It's all about leadership. Uh, in dealing with those matters. And I believe that Chief Morris brings that level of uh, leadership to the Baton Rouge Police Department. I think he's an outstanding choice. He's a, a good young man, uh, character, integrity, uh, extremely smart. District Attorney Hiller Moore recognizes the challenges that lie ahead, specifically with the Brave Cave, but he says he's already in talks with the new chief about what comes next. We just spoke, and uh, obviously he's going to have to get caught up to speed on what is has happened, what's going on, what our intent is, and uh, so that's probably the first order that he and I will will discuss, and hopefully we can dis discuss it soon. So, Scotty, did the chief say anything about his plans moving forward? No, he was pretty brief in his remarks today, but he did say that he will have an outline of his first 100 days very, very soon. All right, Scotty Hunter for us tonight. Thank you. So, of course, a lot of reactions.